Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, I am Aditya. In this video, we will be building an amazing app where we will have a LinkedIn side type sidebar. So here, if you notice this part over here, it's resembling the LinkedIn sidebar over here. And if you notice that when I scroll this, look at this uh, last card over here. So this card over here, now, if I just scroll up, you'll see it sticks at the top and I can keep on scrolling for the other posts. So we'll try to create something like this. So without any further ado, let's begin. So what do we have here? We have a simple view three TypeScript project with Tailwind installed and I have already created some components. So let's begin with this main.css. So this is very important here on the body tag. I have given overflow X of hidden and overflow Y of auto. That means the horizontal overflow is hidden. The vertical overflow is scrolled as soon as the, it goes beyond its height. Like if, the, if it cannot find the content, it will start having that scroll behavior on the body tag. And here I have given it height and width of screen. Then inside this app.view, we have some components being imported. So first we have navbar component, which is just a simple navbar, which is the just the top thing like this bar, uh, bar over here at the top. Then we have the post list component, which will render the list of post cards. So this card over here. Now I'm rendering around 15 cards just to resemble or uh, just have that feel of we have 15 posts. Then we have sidebar card. So each sidebar card will be this card over here. So card number one, card number two, and card number three. Now. If you notice the cards have same width so they will have same width but just the height will differ for each card so first card is of height 72 then 28 and 96 now how does this scrolling thing work so let's see what's happening here now when i'm scrolling like this i just need to look for this position exactly like this so as soon as this card this last card hit this position then it should have position of fix and then making it off top of 20. So these two tailwind classes we need to attach so that it sticks over there. But how can we keep track of this position? So what we could do is we can track this second last card over here, which will make our life easy. So we just need to track whether this second last card is visible or not. As soon as this second last card goes out of viewport, there we go. We just need to make this card fixed the last card with position fixed so how can we keep track of second last card well i have taken a ref over here second last card which is of type sidebar card because of course these three are components and when you put ref on a component over here it behaves differently generally when you put it on html element it, you, it just from the let's say if this was instead of sidebar card it, if it was just a div tag then we could use second last card dot value to get the html element but when you have ref on component when you use second last card dot value it won't give you the html element but it will give you an object because you are putting ref on a component it refers to the template ref then to get the actual html element we could use dollar el which in that object we have this dollar el property which has the actual html element for that component now when i scroll let's see what happens so we will see the scrolling message because i have attached that event listener on the scroll now what we need to do is we just need to go here and as soon as the scrolling begins we need to run this track visibility function so what is this function doing well if you notice first we are getting the bounding clients for this component only this second last component so as soon as we get the bounding client so this bounding client refers to the so it refers to this top position over here then this bottom position then this uh, left position and this right position so this bounding box we need to keep track of and based on this bounding box we can determine whether this element over here is visible or not so if i go back to the code by the way this code will be on github repo so please don't worry you can find the link in the description please do check the description section for the link now here what's happening is we get the bounding uh, box then we check for the top position 
whether it has if it is greater than zero it's great if the left is greater than equal to zero that's great and we also need to make sure that the bottom position is less than the inner height of the win uh, window if we cannot have the inner height of the window then it looks for the fallback property so it will check for the document elements client height if the right is less than equal to inner width of the window or document elements client width then in that case if all these conditions are satisfied that means the element is visible if none of this is condition or satisfied or if this overall condition returns false that means the element has gone out of visibility so if we go over here and okay let's let's print when we scroll over here so console.log let's print the bounding box for this particular element so if we now see in the console so if you notice we are okay let's take till here okay so it's still in visibility so x y and everything is still in visibility now we just need to check for top so here as soon as i take this over here let's see what are the new coordinates now so now if we look so if you see that top has become negative so that means this thing is gonna return false and our comp uh, component or that div element has already gone out of visibility so now what we need to do here is we just need to run this function instead of consoling over here so we will say track visibility we can remove these brackets they are not needed these curly brackets and that's it and then what we are going to do is as soon as it is visible then this visible if it's visible then these classes won't be attached if it's not visible these classes will be attached so let's see this in action so if we go back over here refresh the page there we go and now let's see one two and there we go it gets attached over there now we can keep on scrolling now if i go to the top uh card oh there we go so this comes back to the normal behavior because then this will come in visibility now if i scroll like this you'll see it still get stick over here so that's all in this video hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you feel this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel see you in the next video till the next time goodbye